Okay, so Wild Horses. What a great song. You know, I've heard this song hundreds of times, but I've never actually appreciated how great all the guitar parts are in it and how they all mesh together so nicely. In this lesson, we'll cover mostly the 12 string part, which is what Keith played. And then in part two, I'm going to go over this part, this guitar, uh, which is a Nashville tune guitar, which Mick Taylor plays, and he does a lot of harmonic stuff in this, in his part. And I'll also do uh, Keith's electric solo and Phil's part. But just as a little little intro, there's three guitars, right? There's this one, Mick Taylor, and it's Nashville tuned. And Nashville tuned is all it is. It's just it's just tuned normally. Okay, but the first four strings are all tuned up an octave. Okay, so in order to do that, you, you know, you can't do that with regular strings. So you need to put an alternate set of strings on. And really what it is, is um, if you went to buy a set of 12 strings, you just get the thinner strings and, and put them on here, right? Okay. But nowadays you can buy a set of Nashville strings. And that's what I did. It was like 10 bucks or something. And because everything's up an octave, well, except the B and E string, you get this really nice, delicate sound, right? And this tuning came out of Nashville because guys would, you know, if they didn't have a 12 string around or they just wanted to give some depth to a guitar part, they'd, they'd you know, record the six string and then they'd just track it or overdub it with this. Okay, and that's actually what I did to get uh, in the demo to get Keith's part, which is in open G, by the way. Um, I got this guitar and tuned it to open G and just doubled the regular open G uh, six string part to make it sound like a 12 string right but anyways so the song starts with Mick and he uh, he's gonna start in G this key uh, songs in G and he's just gonna go like yes okay and on that that's when when Keith is gonna come in with this with the six string okay but what I'll do is um, I'll change guitars now and we'll go over Keith's part but I just wanted to show you you know how sweet that sounds in that tuning almost like a mandolin right okay so now we're gonna get into keys part uh, which is the main part and the part that I think everybody's gonna wanna learn how to play and you could play this song in standard tuning and just strum out uh, B minor and A minor and, and G and everything and it would sound fine but you know I find that with these songs that um, have that kind of magic about them like this song does there's always something going on that's a little bit different, right? And in this case, it's that Nashville tune guitar that I t spoke about, and it being an open G. And it just gives it that real airy, sort of delicate sound, right? Okay, and it makes a huge difference. So open G, um, I'll put the tuning for that down here. So you want to tune your guitar to open G, so you've got a D, the A string is down to a G, D string stays, G string stays, and the B string stays, and the high E goes down to a D. And really, you're not going to play that E string. Like, it's really just a five string tuning. You know, you just tune that down to D just in case you, you hit it. But you really don't play that in the song at all. Okay, so it's really the those five strings. Okay, so when Keith comes in, he's going to come in on this. It's like an A minor shape. Okay, and he's just going to hit the last four strings. Okay, and that's just, you just hold that chord, open G, G2, and then we're here. Right? So. And then we're going to go. Okay, so that's. And then we're going to go. Okay, so. I'm not going to say every fret or every string, okay, because this is pretty simple stuff, but it's just. Um, 
it's just so well done, you know, and the parts are so good. Okay, so. which is a B minor in open G and you can play it that way okay just uh, A4 D4 G4 right and here B3 okay or you can do it this way and I'm lucky because you know after years of playing I don't know if you can see that or not but my, my finger bends at that joint so I can play these chords like this Okay, but most guys are going to want to do that. And if that's too much for you, you can just do an A minor shape and just forget about the A string. You know, just to simplify it if you have a hard time doing that. But really, ideally, you want to get that low note in there. Okay, so we're, that's the B minor. So we're... And that's just D4, open G, uh, G2. up here. No lick this time. Okay, so that's... And then here, okay, which is just that down too. And then he does this lick. Okay, and that's just D string, G string. And then open chord, right? And that's what's so cool about open G, is you can do that, right? Like if you weren't in open G, you might wind up sounding like this. You know, like having that dead spot there, or just uh, strumming it. You know, while you change chords, but it's open G and it's uh, just, you know, if you just listen to this, That's so Stones right there, right? That's so Keith Richards. <laughs> you know, it's it's really cool. That's a huge part of his sound was playing in that, that open G tuning. Okay, so anyways, moving on. That's just a bar on the fifth. And I, I like to bar with my third finger so I can get my second finger for added support. But you can do it this way too, right? You can do it whatever way you want. up two frets, right? And that's the strumming. And then open G. Back to the seventh fret. And then we're gonna go and start all over. So just down, seventh, fifth, back to this. Okay, and that's, that's a bit of a tricky chord change. Like I say, I could go because I can bend my finger and that makes it a lot easier um, than doing that. You know, from there to there is a little tricky, but you can still just do the A minor thing and just forego that bottom note, but best if you can get it in. Okay, then we do the whole thing again. For the chorus, we just hold here, okay, and then we're open in, into this chord, which is like the A minor, right? so, but again, we've got that open G in between, so, Two, right? And then we're going to go to the F, which is here. Okay, it's just just that chord there. It's uh, barring on the fifth, D7, 
B6. And that's... You know, that's just... That's Keith. That's, that's a huge part of his... Uh, you know, that's... That's what he does with that open G. Anyway, so from Wild Horses. Up to the F. Now here. Okay, so. back to the beginning okay and that's pretty well it for the verse and the chorus and the intro the only other part is um, the middle bit uh, that comes out of the chorus that the guitar solo Of D2 and the pull off of A4. Right, and also that one you could go. You could you could slide that down, right? But I thought I heard on the record just the pull off, okay? And then you're back into another verse. And then the only other part is the ending, so... And that's just... You know, you're just barring the G, B, and E string from the fifth. And, and from the D string. It's like a D suspended, right? And then... Just open. Okay, so... And that's it. That's Wild Horses. That's the 12 string part. Uh, so, yeah, I, I just wanted to keep this one fairly short because I think this is the part that most people will be wanting to play. But I'm going to do a part two um, that will go over the uh, Nashville tune guitar and the lead solo and fills and stuff because those are some really cool parts. And really the beauty of the song is how the three parts all just sort of mesh together. You know, um, it's that's kind of the Stones thing. They're just so good at it. And I really don't think a lot of it is planned out. I don't think they even talk about it too much. I think they just sit down and would sit down and jam stuff out, you know, and just it would slowly just develop sort of all by itself, right? But um, yeah, make sure you watch part two because the Mick Taylor part is really cool with the harmonics and whatnot. And I mean, like I said, I've heard the song hundreds of times. I even, never even heard harmonics in it before because mostly you hear it when you're driving and on the radio or whatnot, right? So... Uh, his part is really cool. Anyways, I hope you get something out of this and I hope you enjoy playing it. And play it in open G, okay? Don't play it in standard tuning. It'll make a huge difference. Okay? All right. Talk to you next time.